Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, welcome to April 1st, April Fool's Day. And today I have enrolled in my former high school. I am going to do uh, redo grades 10, 11, and 12. I miss it. I like it. I think I can do better on the uh, test scores. And I'm going to go and find the administrator or the guidance counselor and see if they will take me back now that I have a lot of free time. I'm interested in relearning perhaps what I didn't learn the first time around. I am on the General Douglas Magatha High School football field. It's changed. It's got this, I guess, artificial turf, they call it. It used to be dirt when I was here. And this is in Levittown, Long Island, if you can believe that. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful. They say the public schools are failing, but they certainly are not failing in the way that they upkeep their sports facilities. Holy cow, this must have cost a pretty penny. Just bring money. So let's see if we can take a little tour of our former high school, uh, General Douglas MacArthur High School in Levittown, Long Island. It's April Fool's Day. Let's see who the fool is. It could be me. It probably will be me. And maybe during this presentation, I'm on the 50 yard line, by the way, and this field is just the same size field that you see on television. It's 100 yards. But television, of course, makes everything look much bigger, more important, more spectacular than it does in real life. It even makes people look that much more attractive than in real life. This is a, this is a, this is a new track. Uh, God, look at this track. Jeez, Levittown, I didn't know they had this much money. And uh, so I'm gonna get off the field. You saw it. You can tell the people you saw it. Look at the netting. I don't know what that netting is for. That's that's to keep the injured players from getting on the field. You know those guys that start the season and then break their leg? And for the whole rest of the football season, they have to stand on the sideline in street clothes with crutches. You know, if I broke my leg during a football season, the last place you'd see me, here's the bleachers. They got that all fenced off now these premises under video surveillance. So we're gonna see how long it takes for me to get molested. This is all roped off, so there's no more drinking beer underneath the bleachers or having sex with Sally. To my right over here is the junior high, Sork. And there's somebody on the phone right now. There's somebody on the phone right to my left. I hope he's not reporting me for uh, videotaping. Anyway, let's let's press on and just uh, hopefully we'll get through with this. So this is uh, April 1st. Wow. No more March. It's about 53 degrees today. Overcast, as you can see. Sprinkles of rain from time to time. What is this over here? In the loving memory of Scott Mazel, class of 2008, each day is a gift, not a given right. Make every second count for the rest of your life. Well said. I agree. So let's, uh, over here is the uh, junior high, Sork. See, that's the junior high. Maybe we'll get a chance to look at that. But let's just move along. This is a very, uh, it's changed since uh, I graduated in 1980. It is now 2022. You do the math. What is this over here? Home of the generals. All right. War, war, war. We got to keep it going. Uh, that's my sister's truck uh, that I'm using. Uh, give my truck a break. I guess I'm just going to see the exterior. I'm not going to go inside. Uh, because they probably won't let you inside. The days of just walking into a building are over, whether it's an office building in a big city, you've got to check in, you've got to sign in. Because of all the crazy people in the, in the world, you can't just go about your business. That's the gym there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful high school. It looks brand new to me. It looks, look at the security cameras. They certainly weren't there. 
So, uh, I'm just gonna walk out and walk around. This is the, the high school now. And again, to my right over here is the junior high and we'll get a look at that from the street. Uh, home of the generals, all right? Get your rifle and get out there and take that hill. Take that hill. All right, let's go. Let's move it along. Here's a loading dock that I don't recognize. And then some three dumpsters. They weren't there. Five, six, and four. Four, five, and six. They're not in order. All right, another loading dock. And here's a bus over here. Just a beautiful. Here, let me just keep walking. I don't want to. I don't want to make anybody nervous. I'm Brian Holzman. I went to high school here in 1980. I have a YouTube channel. I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm not showing anybody. When I walked by, I made sure it was down. Yeah, no What's problem. Brian Holzman. Brian Holzman. I used to live on Ward Lane. I, I graduated here in 1980. I live in California now. I know, but you know. I have ID. Yeah, I know. Brian Holzman. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to go out to the street now. Well, you can't video here. Okay. All right. I won't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, Sorry. Good. Okay, that was close. Holy cow. They don't want your video in, see? This is where America's come to. I mean, this, they're treating this like a prison. Well, I guess it, it kinda is. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, I'm moving out to the street now. And, uh, ooh, that was close, huh? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. If you go to a bank too, one time I went to, with Domingo to the bank and was filming in the bank and they would say, oh, you can't film in the bank. You can't film in the bank. It felt like saying, you know what? What is this, the Fabergé egg inside here? What is this, the Pink Panther diamond? Light beer, should say diet beer. Not light, should be diet. Can I have another diet beer, please, Sam? I'm watching my weight while I get trashed. Okay, this is the front. I think I can videotape here. I mean, I'm in the damn, I'm on the sidewalk for crying out loud. Okay, so this is the front of the school. They used to call this the factory because it produced uh, non-thinking, uneducated children or young adults. What does this say? General Douglas McGott, the high school, recognized as one of the best high schools by US News and World Report. Best high schools and, uh, and World Report, U.S. New, uh, News, 2017. Geez, it wasn't the case when I went there. And MacArthur High School. Welcome to April, and the sun is out. So maybe things are looking up today. Home of the generals. Get your rifle. I told you to get your rifle and take that hill. But, 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 but this is English class. All right, there it is. There's the famous... Now, that looks the same when I was here. Jeez. Just doing a little tour. I mean, just taking a little tour and, and, and getting in trouble. Just getting in trouble. Just getting stopped. Just getting stopped at every turn. Just getting stopped. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, I don't want to do anything. How's that? Now, uh, there's the high school. See, it looks like a tire factory. See, that's why they called it the factory. See? So that's General Delegates McGott, the high school. All right, let's see if we can cross the street here without getting hit by a car. I want to show you the famous 7-Eleven. Where everybody used to go. I'm gonna run. This car's gonna, oh geez. Man, imagine if you fall down when you're running across the street, you get run over. That's how that works. And uh, let's look at some of the gas prices while we're here. Uh, what do I got? Nine minutes, not bad. Nine minutes and the guy, you you can't film here. You can't, what do you, what do you mean? I mean, what, what is this, Lowe's? Is this a truck stop in Tennessee? What the hell's going on? Okay, let's see what the gas prices are. Uh, regular is 409. 
and Supreme is 459. This is a mobile station, of course. And uh, let me get over here where I want to show you what's going on. I do have a plan. I do have a, an action plan, as they say in the police department. Whenever they do something, uh, crowd control, they have an event, they call it an action plan. And they tell you who's going to work that day and where they'll be stationed and what their call sign is going to be and what location they're going to be stationed and what time they're going to report and what, time of, what type of uniform will they... Uh, 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 be required to wear or, or, or they may have a choice of uniforms to wear and, 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 and they call that an action plan now this is the 7-Eleven here this is a this is, no one's working today at this construction site I don't know what the hell what, the, what are they going to do here I forget what was here but uh I hope you like that uh, video that's loading right now that uh, Grand Central Station. Mary Beth Hennessy was getting on my nerves a bit. Anyway, this is the famous 7-Eleven. This is where we went to, people wanted to, uh, when you wanted to get somebody to buy your beer, you would come here. And uh, there used to be a path you that you'd cut through into to the high school, see? But maybe it's blocked off now. Jeez, I think I pulled a muscle in my right uh, back calf. Is it still open? No. It used to be a path here. And then you'd, uh, you'd make your way along the, uh, I guess this is a creek bed over here. And, uh, but now as you can see, it has thoroughly been discouraged from any walkways into the street. So, looks like that old little red schoolhouse over there. I forget what the hell that is. All right, so let's move back along. We'll get a couple of shots of uh, the junior high. I attended junior high as well. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into the counselor. Jeez, I hope I'm not limping now. Anyway, that's the 7-Eleven and uh, 7-Eleven is a, oh, a Japanese-owned company, and they have, uh, I don't know how many locations all over the world. I mean, all over the world. In Thailand, you just go in there for the air conditioning. What is this? Oh, this is an SK350 LC. I read about these in Construction, uh, Construction Today magazine. They had a big spread on this one. Holy cow, the SK350. I've never seen one in action. This has got a, a motorized hydraulic uh, mechanism that's new to the industry, and it just enables the operator to, to work longer hours and not get uh, tired. It, it has a built-in massage feature in the seat and on the uh, controls. It's just simply amazing. If, you, if you're into construction equipment like I am, what's gonna be over here? This is just their permit, you know? Wouldn't it be funny if somebody came up to me right now and said, hey, you can't film in this town. You, you can't videotape in this, in this town. What do you mean? What do you mean in this town? So here's the mobile station. And uh, there's a yellow jacket. They call that a yellow jacket. It's not that, that's a Chevrolet, but the, uh, there's, there's another one that looks like it. It's, uh, I forget what the heck it is, but that's the yellow jacket. Sometimes yellow doesn't look bad. And sometimes, of course, it looks very bad. Now, somebody's getting a ticket over there. That's not good. That's a state police. What the heck is he doing? Anyway, here's the, uh, the, uh, the uh, the gas price is uh, regular self, four oh nine and nine tenths. Extra self, whatever that is, four thirty nine nine tenths. Super self, whatever that is, Supreme, four fifty nine and nine tenths. All taxes are included. Wow, that was nice. 
and uh, what is that? Autism Awareness McGoth. Hey, what's up? So uh, I don't know who they were. So I, I think I'm just gonna stay on this side of the street. And then I still have to go back inside and get my vehicle, or Terry's vehicle. Or maybe I'll just take Uber and have Terry's vehicle towed and impounded and fingerprinted uh, for the investigation. What that person was doing on the property filming. My God, maybe he's gonna pass this information. See, this is the, the creek bed I was telling you about. And there used to be a path. You could go right over there to 7-Eleven, get your beer. So I'm going to stay safely away from the school property until it's time to get my vehicle. Because uh, I've been molested once. And I don't want to be molested again. At least that's nicely. So, uh, what is this over here? No tobacco zone. I don't know what that is. I think it's a daycare center. A lot of times both parents work. Yeah, here's a child care center. This is where I belong. Teachers, pets, child care center. So if you're a teacher at MacArthur, you can drop your kid off here and then go to work, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let him impound Terry's vehicle. She's got another vehicle. I'm on holiday. I can't be bothered. I won't even pick it up. Uh-oh, big engine, big engine, big engine. That's not really a big engine. That was a muffler that needs to be replaced. And these are, these are your Levittown-type homes. No basements. No basements in Levittown. And this is, this is Jonas E. Salk Middle School. Uh, this is uh, uh, 7, 8, and 9th. I know some of the, the schools around the country and around the world, they have different nomenclature for the grades. This was called junior high. And I went there and I uh, graduated, uh, I don't know if it was first in my class or uh, last in my class, I can't remember. But this is a very nice looking building. And uh, again, I'm across the street. Maybe I should put this on a better view for you. A little bit closer, huh? Now what Jonas, uh, Jonas, Jonas E. Salk, that's the name of this junior high, is the gentleman who invented the polio vaccination. That's right, before that, you had to hang out in an iron lung and there were still some people around that have the effects of polio. Some older, uh, not older, but some more uh, people. Uh, that had the effects of that uh, terrible, terrible uh, disease. And Jonas E. Saw uh, uh, invented, invented, uh, invented the, uh, the, uh, the vaccination. And it was a very, very successful, let me go back on a wide lens. It was, uh, now, I, I, you'll have to Google this yourself, Jonas E. Salk, polio vaccination, and you'll see. And when, after he invented it, he freely gave it to anybody who needed to use it. There was no, uh, there was no, uh, you know, he wasn't hoarding it to make billions. Oh, there's the cop. I bet they called the cops on me. A cop just went in there. So I got to, I can't believe this. This, uh. Well, I guess you can with all the school shootings. Everybody's paranoid. The, the biggest thing we had to worry about in high school is like uh, nothing. You just never thought about anything. But with the school shootings, I guess they just have to take precautions and they have to, you know, do what they have to do. So I'm going to close this off as soon as uh, I finish telling you about the sock. Uh, 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 vaccination. Back then, everybody took a vaccination because they they all there was an agreed uh, it, it was agreed that vaccinations were a good thing, and nobody argued. They were happy to get it, and it cured polio. 
a deliberate, uh, you know, terrible, terrible ailment or disease. Polio. I don't know. Google polio and you'll see how terrible it was. And the iron lung and all this other nonsense. And everybody got the vaccination. Now, today, people feel differently about vaccinations. Now, you can argue why that is. Is it, is, 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 is it the computer? Is it the Internet? Is it the, uh, the grievances with the government who administer the uh, vaccinations? Is it uh, a belief system, uh, uh, civil rights, uh, human rights? I mean, uh, uh, you know, I'm not even going to go there on the reasons. And there must be thousands of reasons why somebody would not want to get vaccinated. I mean, compared to Jonas E. Salk, where everybody jumped on board and was more than happy to be vaccinated. So uh, I'm going to close it off here. Everybody's got their reasons. It's very complicated. I'm going to close this off. I hope you enjoyed uh, April 1st, uh, April Fool's Day. I will close this video, try to get inside, talk to the guidance counselor, talk to the, uh, maybe if I can get a hold of the uh, principal and just say, hey, I want to do 10th, 11th, and 12th grades over again. I know I can do better. I've got an iPhone. I know I can do better with an iPhone. I know I can do better with an iPhone. I mean, I know I can make the grade and maybe go on to a college, get into some college debt. That would be great. And then go find a job, a low paying job, and, and, and just maybe buy a house or maybe rent a house or maybe move in with my sister, uh, Bobby Ann in uh, Fort Myers, Florida for a while. They only have a one bedroom. I wish they could put an extension on that, but. They don't allow extensions on. Uh... Anyway, so you have a great day. Happy April 1st and uh, go back to school. I am.